Hi everyone, in this video I am going to calculate and derive the S matrix parameters of magic T or hybrid T junction. So if you see the magic T waveguide junction, it is having four ports. So before the calculation of S matrix parameters, we should know what is the size of S matrix. The size of S matrix is completely depend up upon the number of ports of the waveguide. Suppose if it is a three port waveguide, the size of S matrix is three by three. But here the magic T is a combination of both E plane T junction and H plane T junction. That's why it is having four ports. And the size of the scattering matrix is yes, 4 by 4. So, the size of ES matrix is 4 by 4. So, we can say S is equal to S11. ES12, ES13, ES14, 21, 22, 23, 24, 31, 32, 33, 34, S41, S42, S43, S44. This is the size and matrix parameters of this S matrix parameters of this magic T junction. Now, how many parameters are there? 4 into 4, there are totally 16 parameters we need to calculate in general. But it is very difficult to calculate each and every parameter. That's why we are generally applying the properties of S matrix to reduce these parameters to lesser value. Okay, so apply. S matrix parameter properties. S matrix properties. So, what are the various S matrix parameters? Apply individually one by one. And we need to, one more thing is, apply properties of H, uh, S matrix properties, that means the scattering matrix properties, and H plane. H plane comma E plane T junction properties <clears throat> because magic T is a combination of H plane and E plane T junctions. So the properties applicable to H plane and as well as E plane can also be applied on this magic T. Suppose if you close this E arm. If you close this E arm, it is simply acting like your H plane T junction. Suppose if you close this H arm, then it is simply acting like your E plane T junction. Okay, so that's why we can also apply the properties associated with respect to H plane and E plane T junctions. They can also be applied onto this magic T junction. So that the equations are much reduced and we will be having very less the number of our scattering matrix parameters to be calculated. So, <clears throat> this is the first one. First one is, because of plane of symmetry, because of plane of symmetry, plane of symmetry in which port? <coughs> is it uh, H port or E port? H port. Plane of symmetry, bo both are out of uh, in phase. One and two ports are in phase. So, H port, H arm, <coughs> H arm, see this is the first port, this is second port and this is third port and this one is the fourth port, E arm is fourth port. So, S13 is equal to S23, okay, whatever the signal applied at first port, is having the reflection from the third port is equal to the when the signal is applied at the second port. The reflection coming from the third port is equal with respect to 1 and as well as 2 wherever the input is applied. Okay, that is S13 is equal to S23. <coughs> the same is applied with 
e on because of plane of asymmetry that is with respect to e r we can say s14 is equal to minus s24 because the first and second ports are out of phase with respect to fourth arm nothing but er okay now because of the geometry because of the geometry an input to port 3 cannot come out from port 4 input at port 3 cannot come out of port 4 input at port 3 cannot come out of port 4 and vice versa okay suppose if you have taken this wave guide when you apply input at this port 3 <clears throat> that will come either from port 1 and port 2 that means equally but it will not reach port 4 and similarly when input is applied at port 4 port 4 that again comes from port 1 and port 2 but will not come from port 3 that means we can say port 3 and port 4 are isolated ports we can say port 3 and port 4 are isolated ports that is port 3 and port 4 are isolated ports okay inside the magic t junction that provision is there that means the construction is like that okay it's a magic t that's why it is magic t of course okay so that's why the reflections are zero 3 to 4 and similarly from 4 to 3 that is zero here most of the components becomes zero next one from symmetry property of s matrix symmetry property of s matrix that is s i j is equal to s j i so s 1 2 is equal to s 2 1 and s 3 1 is equal to s 1 3 Yes, four one four is equal to yes four one. Yes two three is equal to yes three two, and yes three four is equal to yes four three, and yes four two or two four. Okay, so these are the various uh, parameters that we can equate with the property of the S matrix. <coughs> Next one. If port three and port four, port three and port four are perfectly matched. Port three and port four are perfectly matched. Then yes, three three equal to yes, four four is equal to zero. That means port three and port four both are perfectly matched to each other. Okay. the same whatever we have taken there also we are taking here okay next from unitary matrix unitary matrix we know so what unitary matrix states that s into s star so in terms of matrix s into s star is equal to i s into s star is equal to i so now write the simplified s matrix equation here one is in the true form and other one is in the complex conjugate form s11 s12 s13 s14 this row is same as it is now s21 is equal to s12 and again it is s22 s23 we can write it as s13 see all these assumptions from the previous report see from all these from all these statements what i have written here i am applying all these together in this s matrix again 
S13, S13, 0, 0, S330, like that. And it is S14, it is minus S14, again 0, 0. Into, same with complex conjugate, S11, S12, S13, and S14. S12, S22, S13, all these are stars. Minus S14, <coughs> S13, S13, 0, 0. S14, minus S14, 0, 0. That is equal to I. Now the size of identity matrix I is 4 by 4. Okay, size of I is equal to size of S. Now multiply row and column. So R1 row 1 into column 1. Row 1 into column 1. That is equal to mod S11 square plus mod S12 square plus mod S13 square plus mod S14 square is equal to 1. And similarly R2 C2. S12 square plus S22 square plus S13 square plus S14 square is equal to 1. And similarly R3 C3. <coughs> S13 square plus S14 square is equal to 1. And R4 C4 also states the same. <coughs> so it is S13 and S14 square plus S14 square that is equal to 1. So from this statement we can write it as S13 is equal to 1 by root 2 and here also S14 is equal to 1 by root 2 and substitute this 1 by root 2 in these two equations then S11 is equal to minus S12, S12 is equal to minus S22. So finally we will get <coughs> S11 is equal to S12 is equal to S22 is equal to 0. Therefore, the simplified <coughs> the simplified S matrix is S matrix is equal to, this S matrix is for magic T. 0, 0, S13 is 1 by root 2, S14 is 1 by root 2, again 0, 0, uh, 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 0, 0, and 1 by root 2, minus 1 by root 2, 0 and 0. This is the S matrix of magic T. We can also write it as, if you take 1 by root 2 common from all these parameters, 0, 0, 1, 1, and it is 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0. This is the way how to calculate the S matrix of magic T. Okay. So, we have included the properties of S matrix properties and as well as H plane, E plane, T junction properties. So, that we have consolidated the magic T S matrix parameters. Okay. In the next video, I will explain the example cases of this magic T junction. Thank you.